the decade of electrification has begun. In the next few years, large-scale investments in renewable energy production and the offshore grid are due to be undertaken. To make a fundamental contribution to this acceleration, Alia Group created a new subsidiary, WindGrid. WindGrid will build on Alia Group's unique experience in both the North and the Baltic Seas. The group is at the forefront of innovative approaches in offshore grid design and therefore is well placed for playing a leading role in the shaping of future offshore grid projects. In 2020, Elia Group's German subsidiary 50 Hertz completed a world first with its Danish counterpart EnergyNet, the construction of an offshore hybrid interconnector. The Krieger's Flak combined grid solution connects the German and Danish grids together, whilst also including direct links to two offshore wind farms. Given that the German and Danish transmission systems are asynchronous, a double converter was also constructed as part of the project, allowing the two systems to be connected. To control this complex system, a digital control unit was developed to optimize the use of the interconnector whilst preventing it from being overloaded. Three, two, one, go! Another key group project was completed in early 2019. Elia, its Belgian subsidiary, inaugurated NemoLink, Belgium's first electricity interconnector with the UK. The HVDC interconnector, 400 kV, is jointly owned and operated by Ilya and its British counterpart, National Grid. The project brought a number of international teams together. Whilst it was led by Ilya and National Grid, German company Siemens built the converter stations and Japanese manufacturer Sumitomo Electric built the cable. NemoLink's availability is above 99%, making it one of the most reliable interconnectors of its kind in the world. Moreover, Elia's modular offshore grid, or MOG, is located 40 kilometers off the Belgian coast. The MOG is a switchyard platform that bundles electricity generated by four offshore wind farms together and then transmits it to the mainland. The MOG is a unique structure in Europe. The project was completed within an extremely tight schedule. Only three years after the initial approval for the project, King Philip of Belgium inaugurated the project. To date, Elia Group has connected 13 wind farms to its onshore grids and is currently operating three subsea interconnectors. New innovative projects are on their way. These include Triton Link, a 600 kilometer subsea cable that will run between Belgium and Denmark. This project could be a world first. It looks likely that it will be the first hybrid connection between two artificial energy islands. Other projects are due to be linked to the Belgian energy island too. These include the export cables for a second offshore wind zone in Belgium and a second interconnector with the UK called Nautilus. In the Baltic Sea, 50 Hertz and EnergyNet are currently focusing on the construction of a second hybrid interconnector. Central to this new project is Denmark's Bornholm Island. More recently, 50 Hertz signed a collaboration agreement with TenNet to bring wind power from the German North Sea to the mainland. Two offshore DC cables will be linked to a so-called multi-terminal hub that will consist of several components like a converter station, a 200 kilometer long direct current underground cable, and an electrolyzer for the production of green hydrogen. Through WindGrid, Elia Group wants to go one step further and expand its overseas activities. WindGrid will be a reliable partner for governments that want to proactively build offshore grid infrastructure and renewable energy developers that are looking for solutions which will allow them to securely connect and integrate their offshore energy projects into onshore electricity networks. By harnessing our experience and know-how, 
and co-investing in international offshore grid infrastructure, WindGrid will make a fundamental contribution to accelerating the energy transition.